happy friday i hope you guys are having a beautiful day today if you're new my name is kathy and today we are doing a budget breakdown for paycheck number two for this month of november i hope you guys are having a great week and ready for the weekend so you guys let's go ahead and touch base for last week's paycheck this is going to be a quick short video um, i don't really have that much to stuff because i kind of spend it all before this video <laughs> so let's touch base on last week's pay so my children international so if you're new i do have i do sponsor a child in honduras i've been sponsoring for like 14 years um and then same thing for saint jude i has i have been donating the same amount of years as um children international so and back in the day i wasn't making what i'm making now you guys so there's no excuse for you not to be able to lend a hand to somebody in need you guys so um so children international came out my amazon prime subscription came out hp inc subscription came out so all my bills were paid for my cash envelope let's see all right so no food no home no self miscellaneous have the only two dollars here so this is going to get rolled over to my letterbox challenge once i'm done stuffing this envelope i mean this wallet <laughs> then so that's two dollars i just stuff my sinking funds savings challenges and my buffer i had 22 dollars left in my debit account i wrote over nine dollars to my regular savings because that was that's the amount that was left there so that's a great amount you guys nine dollars Woo! that is great and if you're new my buffer i keep i like to keep minimum 20 to 30 dollars um just in case i want to order anything from etsy or grubhub and whatever doesn't get used friday morning i roll that over to my regular savings account um where i have like another buffer which i'll be using to pay off my debt so there we go <laughs> all right so we are going to next to this paycheck and i did make a little bit of ot not so much i made 943 so 943 and i did put 300 dollars aside for my rent saint jude came out um saint jude came out today because it it usually comes out on the 10th but it came out today because of the holiday on monday so twitch that comes out on the 13th same thing as peacock is eight dollars each so i won't cross that out until day two get withdrawn my blue bank of america i owed 170 dollars i paid that off and this was for etsy you guys i am setting up my new setup for 2025 so i will have a video hopefully next month in december and i'll let you know how my whole setup is going to be it's going to be a tad bit different but we are basically we're going to keep on saving so that is not changing so my whole um expenses and bills for this week was a total of 496 dollars my cash envelopes will be getting the same thing um 80 for food 20 for self 20 for home 10 for miscellaneous for a total of 130 um for food we actually went shopping already me and my husband and um we do budget 80 and 80 so we budget a whole 160 dollars every week so that's good enough for us family of four so that's pretty good and um but i feel like next year i'm gonna have to increase this to 100 but we'll see you guys let's see how it goes this right now has been working but i'm not sure how next year is going to be for sinking funds um i will be putting in my personal binder thirty dollars i have six categories each category gets five dollars savings challenges so i'll be putting in 170 dollars i'll be putting in 40 dollars from my chocolate box and then the rest 130 to my thanksgiving box because that's something i really want to complete to be able to use that money because that's going to be saving for thanksgiving and black friday so that'll be fun my daughter will get her $20. She does have her own savings challenge binder. She's up to her last challenge, which is like a roll and save. So once she completes that, then I'll probably use that money to buy her new jacket or pair of uh, boots. So we'll see. Um, CD ladder and her birthday is coming up, you guys. She is a Sagittarius, but towards the beginning. Um, her birthday is on the 22nd. So we'll see what we're going to do there. Um, CD ladder. So um i'm putting my regular 20 dollars and then my debt binder will get its 50 dollars. so in total savings is 260 so let's go ahead and work out my buffer for this week 943 496 130 30 260 
So my buffer will be $27, which is perfect. That is fine by me, 27. And then whatever doesn't get used gets rolled over. And that's it. So you guys, that is easy peasy. Once you have your own budget set up and it becomes a routine, you already know every month what you have to pay. Um, I use this sticker, the Bills Tracker sticker that I got from Casey Lay um, on Etsy. And I will be using the same stickers for next setup too, for next year's setup. Um, it helps me keep track on the things that I paid, things that I have to pay for the following month. So it helps me a lot. And um, so Children International came out. Uh, Amazon Prime. St. Jude. I did pay the last credit card. And I think that is it, you guys. That is it. So let's go ahead and stuff my wallet, whatever I have left over because <laughs> it's not much. I did take out all oh, my coins. I'll take out after I'm done here. And then my receipts, I did put in my receipt apps already. And I got to say the receipt apps, you guys, I've been doing this whole year and I got like $140, which by the way, my mom has helped me with the receipts. So I'm probably going to buy her something with that, uh, with what I got with um, receipt apps. So we'll see. If you guys hear the bass, the up, oh, you can hear it right now. <laughs> a car is passing by. Um, I live in a city, so it's pretty noisy here, 24 hours a day, all the time. But since I'm very used to it, nothing wakes me up, to be honest. Everything's, I just fall asleep and it doesn't really bother me. So for, let's start backwards, you guys, because I don't know how much I have left for food. For miscellaneous, it'll be um, $10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 five six seven eight nine ten i have a whole bunch of singles so i want to try to get rid of them and with my halloween binder i did transfer that 250 towards my debt you guys and then i did pay off my medical bill so that money is gone <laughs> benito but i'm very happy I don't have any more medical bills. That was the last one for this year, you guys, for this year, because I don't know for next year. Ah, this one is stuck. Oh, let me do it again. Let me do it again. Let me do it again. Yeah. So we'll see for next year. Hopefully not too much. Um, home will get 20. So yeah, with the debt, you guys, I'm making great progress. Like that is that has been my goal since mid-year. Um, it wasn't really a priority for me, but let's, I don't know how much is left for food, you guys. So let's see. I got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 30 is for my personal binder. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So $6 left in food. <laughs> but it's okay. I got everything that I needed. Um, and you guys, I didn't even tell you how much money I was stuffing. Wow, that's crazy. It's definitely not the 180, though. <laughs> It's not the 180. So that's 20, 40, 50, 70. So 106. That's what I'm stuffing. Um, yeah, so I got everything I got. I was craving some sandwiches, you guys. I was craving sandwiches. So we, we bought like a big um, French baguette. I bought some ham. I bought some sour cream, some white cheese. I, yep. So I made that. All right, guys, I'm sorry about that pause. There was a cop car passing by, so the sirens was pretty loud. Um, so this is my CD ladder binder. This binder I got from Kimberly over at All Things Kimberly WV. Um, she has an Etsy and a YouTube channel, you guys. I don't know if she has this anymore, but this helps me keep track of my CDs that I've opened. If you don't know what a CD or a CD ladder is, I'll have that video linked down in my description box below. If you're interested in knowing, it's a very fun way to... If you're okay with the idea of locking your funds for a certain amount of time and you can't touch it whatsoever, um, then this is a great, great way to save. Very fun, you guys. You don't feel it. You don't feel it at all. I could show you my progress right now. So I put $20 every week, every first of the month. Um, so November is my magic month. There's five paychecks this month. So I'll be able to save up $100 and I'll use that 100 to open up uh, December's first CD. So that's fun. So I'm putting my other $20, so I have $40 right now. And it's really a fun way to save, you guys. You don't feel it. I 
don't feel it i almost have a year doing it you guys a year in january i opened my cd in january and that makes 12 months so this is my this is my um oh, let me get the glitter out of the way this is my progress um i basically have let's add all these up you guys i have 860 dollars in all the cds that i have right now so and that is just twenty dollars a week that i put in so it's possible it's very very possible and i'm very happy to do this this binder helps you track 10 years worth of cds so yeah i'm pretty happy with the progress that i'm making you really don't feel it once you know it just becomes a routine all right this is my personal binder and i have six categories in here this is more like my revolving character um my revolving categories and this is what i pull out most of the time so anniversary is one of the categories and now it has 20 30 35 so i have enough time to save for anniversary you guys because my next anniversary my marriage anniversary is in july and then the dating anniversary is in september so i have a long way to go concert has 20 40 60 70 80 90 you guys 90 dollars in concerts already and this will be for next year self-care now has 10 20 25 this one i pull out very often because i buy razors anything that i need for myself this is the funds that i use um clothes i have 5 10 15 20 and i did pull out this one last month to buy some jeans so 20 date night and you guys know we don't ever have time for any date night but when that time does come <laughs> 20 30 35 dollars is in here and this is just five dollars each category every week you guys and it builds up family fund has five ten fifteen twenty dollars so that is great great progress you guys and um let's go ahead and do my letterbox challenge these trackers are from renee over at budget nerd co um and i'm i use the 50 dollar one she has the 25 dollar which is an a6 size um but i use the big size because i always want to challenge myself and i only have two letters i have l and h and i'll fast forward these um for you guys All right, you guys, so that is my letterbox. And one thing that I actually wanted to show you guys that I almost, whoop, I dropped my pens. What I wanted to show you and I almost forgot was my closeout for October, you guys. How dare me? It's gonna be real quick, you guys. Let's do it real quick. And um, so for my sinking funds, this is what I have for right now. Um, I ended September with $8,239 and then now I ended October with $8,264 so not much of an increase not as much as of a decrease you guys but I know for a fact after November a lot of this will go down because I'm going to use my Christmas Christmas funds Thanksgiving funds um so this amount is going to go down which is fine because my priority right now hasn't been st um, stuffing my sinking funds it has been trying to pay off my loan um, if you're new, I had I had a loan of $10,000 that I took out two years ago with Discover as a personal loan. Right now, I'm under $2,600. So I'm trying to pay that off by the end of the year so I can start 2025 debt-free. So that has been my main priority. So this is good, you guys. Um, I have been neglecting my sinking funds, but hopefully next year it'll be a different story. So my closeout for October. Um, so my income, it was four weeks. For pay i get paid every week so um it was a total of 3627 my bills and expenses was 2013 my personal binder got 90 dollars my cash envelopes got a total of 520 my saving buffer which is what's left in my debit account i put a total of 84 dollars for the whole month and my savings got a total of 920 so out of my cash envelopes 
I spent 504 and I rolled over $16 to my letterbox challenge. My saving buffer out of the 84, um, I spent $69 and rolled over $15 to my savings account. So for total saved, it was 1,041, which was 29% of my whole income for the month of October. Total spent was 2,586, which was a percentage of 71% spent of my whole income so you guys it really didn't move that much from last last month um if we, you want to compare let's go back and see the result from last month over here so it was I actually did better uh last month i spent i saved only 27 percent of my pay and for this month was 29 percent. so that is good that is good a little increase but you know something is better than nothing and that is it you guys here's to november my magic month which was basically used to pay off credit cards because i've been pretty down and i've been using my card to eat out <laughs> so um and also i'll be starting buying new things for my setup for 2025 so that's another expense there but you guys that is it if you stay to the very end please leave me an emoji of a pencil or a pen that'll let me know that you watched through the whole video and you guys have a beautiful weekend i'll see you sunday for my travel binder stuffing take care guys bye